Hi everyone, I'm here to bring us the new moon reading for this new moon in Scorpio on Sunday, October 27th. I'm going to be using the Ghetto Tarot and I'm going to pull four cards, talk about them individually, and then talk about them all together. As always, we ask that our ancestors and our guides are here with us, surrounding us with protection and assist us, assisting us with receiving the guidance and the messages that are most useful for us for traversing this new moon energy successfully to our advantage. Let's see what guidance is available for us for this new moon energy. The first card is the Magician. The magician reminds us that we have the ability to manifest what we are seeking, that we have more ability or more power over this than we often give ourselves credit for. We don't have control over everything, but we need to look at the things that we do have control over. The magician also reminds us that in order to manifest something, we have to pull down through ourselves into physical reality, right? So the ideas or the inspiration, the creative impetus, the, um, the fertile energy surrounding us is not enough. We also have to know how to translate that energy into something physical, into something tangible, whether that tangible physical thing is change in the world around us or if it is an actual physical object or physical item, right? So the magician is the one who has the ability to turn that abstract energy into something that makes a real difference in our physical worlds. And we're reminded that that is the kind of ability that we need in order to make changes in the world around us. So the time for thinking is done. It's time to figure out how to turn that inspiration, that creativity, those thoughts, those ideas into something. And that's when we become fully actualized as the magician, as the person who can create what we're seeking or co-create our own lives. Let's see what the next card is for us. The next card is the King of Brooms. This is something that's been coming up a lot in readings for others at this time. In all kinds of my readings, I'm getting the King of Broom over and over again. The King of Brooms is very fiery, very creative, very, pa um, very uh, regenerative, very passionate. And the King of Brooms is about us being able to be sovereign, over our own story, over our own passions, over our own truth, and recognizing how our passion and our creativity fits in with our personal truth. Even when that personal truth seems to be something that is foreign to others, or perhaps we perceive it's something that won't be appreciated by others, we need to recognize how it all fits together within us, how our unique perspectives, our unique experiences are fed by and intertwined with our passions, our creativity, our truth, the things that are at our core that really make us tick. How does all of this fit together within ourselves we don't always have to have that answer, but what is important is to recognize that these things do fit together and to understand that feeding one area helps to fan the fire of the other area as well. So our creative expression is really important for our personal truth, our... Um, our passion is really important for our self-actualization. Um, speaking our authentic truth is really important for keeping us inspired, keeping us feeling fresh and creative about life, and so forth. Let's see what comes next for us. 
Oh, the next card is the Swords card. It's the nine of ten of swords. It's the ten of swords, and it's about feeling defeated. It's about being beaten down. It's about feeling emotionally distraught, and it's a reminder that we can't always win. We can't always have what we want, but it's also a reminder that this kind of defeat is normal in life. We're not always going to get what we want or what we think that we need all the time and it's a normal part of life as a human and it doesn't mean that we've done something wrong or that something is wrong with us or that we failed. Um, it's just a normal part of our lives and the best thing that we can do when we feel defeated like that is accept it and not fight against it and really go with how we feel. Um, really allow ourselves to feel, really allow ourselves the time that we need to mourn, to express our feelings, to um, feel, to feel deeply, to accept ourselves the way that we're feeling, to accept our feelings the way that we're feeling. And it's only in moving through it in this way and in acceptance of the situation and in acceptance of the fact that there's not something wrong with us, that nothing is out of out of alignment that we didn't do anything wrong that this just is how it is and accepting it for what it is that these are the only ways that we can actually move through it and get to the other side and get to something better any other approach is going to entail pushing away our feelings or trying to fight against the natural flow of things or trying to fight against how things really are and all of that is going to cause us more problems in the long run. Let's see what the next card is going to be. The Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is about being self-actualized in our hearts, in our emotional bodies, in our emotional selves. It's about being able to fully feel all realms of feelings, um, being able to express those feelings in a healthy, positive way, and really um, deepening and relaxing into our heart-centered feelings in a way that allows us um, more strength, emotional strength. Emotional strength often comes through vulnerability. And it's something like the Ten of Swords that cracks us open and makes us feel beaten down that forces us to be vulnerable. When we're honest about our feelings with others and with ourselves, we cultivate a new sense of vulnerability. And within that vulnerability, we find a brand new sense of strength as well as a depth of emotion that at the time may not seem that it's beneficial for us, but will be beneficial for us further down the line, particularly in our relationships, not only with others, but with ourselves as well. And our relationships with others, but not only romantically, but our relationships with others in general, whether that's our family or the world around us or how we interact in our social circles or in our community. Being able to approach things from a more heart-centered perspective, being able to have more depth, more understanding of emotions, more compassion, more empathy, being able to really truly accept ourselves the way that we are, right? So it looks like this new moon um, is very dualistic. On one hand, it really talks to us about how we can start to think about um, what we want to create and how we want to create it. It reminds us that we need to have the ability to act, that inspiration, creativity, and ideas aren't enough, that if we really want to co-create um, our reality to take part in creating what is important to us, what we feel passionate about, then we need to think of what actions to put into motion and that this is a really good time to start thinking about those actions to put into motion. 
it also reminds us that whatever we do needs to be authentic to ourselves. It needs to be coming from a place that is soulful, that is inspired, that is really true to what we truly want, what we deeply want. Not just what we think we want, not just what the world around us tells us that would be good for us to have, but really getting down to the truth of what we want. Now the other side of this dualistic energy of this new moon is telling us that if we're feeling defeated, if we've been beaten down emotionally, if we're feeling distraught, if we're feeling badly emotionally, we need to keep in mind that it's going to bring us a depth of feeling that's going to be more rewarding sometime in the future. Now, that's not always something comforting to think about when you are feeling like this, right? It doesn't really help to say it's going to be good for you in the future. Um, what does help is to fully accept the way that you feel to tell yourself this is normal, the way that I feel is normal. My reactions are normal. I'm okay. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm still on the right path and I'm going to allow myself to feel this way and I'm going to allow myself to tell others that I feel this way. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to keep reminding myself that it's okay to feel this way. And then the reward will come. It may not be helpful to think about that reward now, but that reward of deeper feeling um, expans expansive heart, um, deeper commitment, <laughs> deeper, um, deeper compassion, deeper empathy, um, more meaningful emotional connections. Those will come later. Okay, so um, very uh, strong energy for this new moon and lots of interesting guidance here. Thanks so much, everybody, and stay blessed. Happy new moon.